today what we're going to be discussing is a statement of purpose a statement of purpose as indicated is actually purpose and motivation many students think a statement of purpose is an extended resume it cannot look like a resume it cannot read like a resume it cannot have anything to do with an elaborated resume it is not also a chronological life history of yourself the universities are not interested in looking at a chronological order or a extended resume what they're looking for is exactly what is your purpose of going to the school and what's your motivation behind getting into that school what is the purpose of an sop goals are important to the effect that you need to be very clear the whole purpose of a statement of purpose when you look at it is we i need to look at goals what are your career goals you need to mention your career goals we also need to mention your achievements we need to focus on your strengths because this is a marketing document this is your communication to the school your motivations behind going to the school and then ultimately you want to get a holistic personality so we talk about the social service extracurriculars when we actually look at the building blocks you need an introduction the introduction is by far the most important piece that you can write why it is actually the deciding factor to the extent that it engages the reader or it does not engage the reader to read further in your essay projects and papers again related to what your ultimate motivation or your purpose of going to so for example if you're doing artificial intelligence machine learning all your projects and papers should be related to that specific topic don't write something that is so irrelevant that it doesn't make any sense for the person reading and say hey what is where did this come from internship work experience likewise has to be exactly related to extracurricular activities is important because there's a place for you to show your leadership skills your community service your team building skills your team work skill collaborative skills all that needs to be because they don't want only a geek they want to have a holistic individual and this is where you show your skill set in this area again you need to talk about university specific paragraph and conclusion which is absolutely necessary the first thing that i want to mention is the different ways of writing the introduction because that's by far the most important aspect of an introduction the way to do that is very simple if you don't have a strong hook to your sop you're not going to get very far So let's talk about a global issue. The first we are doing is working on a global issue, ecological concern, which everyone can relate to. Such beginnings definitely add curiosity uh, to the SOP, and journey is a good start to the SOP. So let's talk about the whole perspective. Let's go to the next step of talking about a humanitarian or social cause. Is something that you something that if you guys don't have anything else to write about, this is the easiest way to write about an introduction. which is focus on a recent breakthrough or a recent trend in the field and then talk about what how that has helped you decide your future etc this is an sop of a person who went to stanford the first sentence there's absolutely no value to this whole thing it's just like writing an essay or writing something that you see on google It's not talking about you. It's not talking about your motivation. It's not talking about anything that relates to you. This is important because it talks about his career goals. But now, if I took out the first paragraph, the second sentence makes no sense. Look at the intro that he wrote now. So we took his skill set, something about him, twisted it around to talk about how the problem with electricity is and how he actually is trying to make it eco-friendly, and talked about the environmental impact. Let's talk about the next paragraph, which is projects and papers. This is an important para to write about, and where students mess up here is they just go in too much detail about the projects. I did this, then I next I did this, then the following I did this, then the following I did this. Do you think the admission committee actually wants to listen to all that? The answer is absolutely not. So when we deal with the main project, main objective of the project, make sure you actually take this down. This should be in sentences. So the first one sentence should be focused on this. Another sentence could be done with this. A third sentence could be, and the final outcome could be related to a sentence here. Accolades you can re- relate to all the projects at the end. Okay, same thing in the paper publication. 
so if you have multiple projects make sure that you can actually consolidate and summarize them paper publications here the most important thing i want to mention a paper publication okay make sure you have the title whether the paper is published or being reviewed accolades received and make sure you have the citation if you have a key learning and you're talking about phd make sure you have this as well let me talk about what you really need to spend when you talk about internships and work experience what company you're working at second is your roles and responsibilities skills acquired hands on experience gain accolades received and key learning so you have 5 to 6 sentences is all you need to write about a company or work experience we want to mention your talents your leadership and your community if it's sports mention sports don't make this a laundry list of what what you've done okay interview with with what you've learned definitely bring out the leadership skills here definitely bring out other activities that you really have when you write an sop obviously you want to show that you have an interest in that university so spend some time on that university look at the research opportunities what is the usp of the school so the ones that i would highlight here the curriculum what student bodies you want to be part of infrastructure faculty location international community will be everywhere but these four things definitely you make sure we can make sure you have it because it will only show that you have shown a, you spent some time learning about the school and that's absolutely important through this process in your university you mentioned as to why you want to pursue a specific conclusion you need to convince the admission committee more than why are you a good fit for the university this paragraph has to convince the committee why you prove to be a right fit should be two to three lines you can talk about becoming except exemplary brand ambassador for the school you want to add value to the program so this determination to excel these are the things buzzwords that you can use in your conclusion 